Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Todd from NC Fit Club, and this is week three of P90X2. And it is the third time around with Total Body, so I'm excited about that. And I mentioned this yesterday, but I figured I'd put it at the beginning of the video. See these? They're called P90X Multivitamins. I've been on these things since I was 255 pounds and started this fitness journey three and a half years ago, and I love them. Somehow I've gotten back piled or back stocked or whatever you call it, and I've got crap loads of them. So I thought with these challenge packs and what we're trying to do with New Year's resolutions and getting helping you guys get these challenge groups together and helping you guys achieve your fitness goals, I thought I would throw this out there. This box of vitamins is about 35, 38 bucks, something like that. I will give it to you for free if you sign up to do one of our challenge packs and get involved in one of our challenge groups. But you gotta do it this week. So contact me today. All right, get your spots. We got a couple spots left. We'll put you in a challenge group and on a program that fits you and what you're trying to achieve. Doesn't have to be P90X, it could be Insanity, it could be Hip Hop Abs, it could be Slim and Six, it could be any of that stuff, Turbo Fire. Just get up with me today and we'll help you out. All right, right now it's time for me to work out. So here we go. Use it. Just because we're not doing it here on this round doesn't mean you can't use it. Nice, Dre. How many are you going to do total? I'm going to do three each side. I'm starting All right. to Let me show it to you. Here it is. Here's mine. Right here. So, go down. The feet are sideways. Arm first, then eye. You don't have to always do it that way. Down. You're feeling good? Eyes and hands at the same time. That's two. Speed is dictated up in the air. My body is nice and square. Just your chest will come up. Jeremy, how many are you going to do? Fifteen. Fifteen. Now, what happens sometimes, at this point of the workout, you start getting really sweaty, and the hands start to slip. So, cling on from your right. Start to slip, the pause button, come back to the bar. Keep the knees in the whole time. Shit at the bar. And up. And up. This point right here, this almost feels like a break. Just hang out. Back. Uh, tip. Now in transition, bring the dumbbells to your chest. Keep the core engaged. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Blow that first one out. One, two, three. All right, guys. What's up? That was uh, Total Body uh, from P90X2. Third time I've done it. And again, just like a, the other day with X2 Core, numbers went up. Uh, the bowling push-ups went up, especially in the second round. Uh, my crunchy levers went up. My weight on my arm chest, one arm chest press went up. Uh, I got an, an additional set on the four position pull-ups. Uh, the frog burpees, or excuse me, mule kick burpees, all that stuff went up. So I'm really excited about that because that means that each week that I've done it, I've, I've gotten better. Um, there's part of me that wants to do another week of this phase but I'm getting to the point where I'm getting really anxious and I'm kind of ready to move on to the to the big stuff or at least the next phase with chest and back and shoulders and arms and the stuff that I remember from the one on one so I'm probably going to move on to that come Thursday so tomorrow will be power and balance for the last time and then I'll move on to phase two so uh, that's it man I'm excited though I'm digging it I definitely have got a good pump going on from this and uh, somebody commented on one of my videos they said uh, Hey man, I've been following you for a while, and, and how come you haven't gotten that much rip since you since I've been following you? And it was a tough question, I'm, and I wrote a comment, but I'll go ahead and reply on this video as well. You gotta keep in mind, I was 255 pounds three years ago. I'm at 11.5 percent body fat. Could I be leaner? Yeah. Do I want to eat that strict? No. Do I follow the diet guides on these programs? Pretty much. I do pretty much like Tony told me when I met him at the boot camp a couple years ago. I kind of do the 90-10, or 85-15, where 85 to 90% of what I eat is healthy, 10 to 15% I cheat. Um, you got to give yourself a cheat or you won't maintain. The problem is, is that people that don't understand how to cut off the cheating when you get to that 10 or 15%, those are the people to get stuck and go back into their old bad habits. I was really strict for a while until I knew I had formed the habits that I needed to where I could cut myself off when I needed to. So that's where I'm at. I can afford to go two or three days and splurge and I know that I got to get back right back into it because like I said on yesterday's video, I'm to the point now to where if I splurge too much or take a couple of days off, I can feel it and I don't like the way it feels. So I, I'm pretty strict on keeping myself maintaining where I'm at. I've been at about, I've been at 190 for quite a while. I got down to one. 
79 at one point, but I've gained muscle weight. Like these, my shirts are starting to fit tight in sleeves. So my arms have gotten bigger. My chest has gotten bigger. I'm starting to put on more muscle, so I'm gaining muscle weight. So uh, there's kind of the answer to that question. So am I happy with where I'm at? Absolutely. What you don't see by looking at me is my athleticism has improved. My basketball has improved. My flexibility, my stability muscles, the ability to do the stuff that I do, I've gotten better at. So I'm judging myself by that and not necessarily by six-pack. Now, my stomach's flat. Could I have a six-pack? Yeah, I probably could if I was really, really, really strict. Some people can't get six-packs. Um, I probably could if I tried really hard, but I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Um, to be turning 37 in two weeks and to look the way I look and have this and know that half the, or not 90%, 95% of the dads that are at my daughter's school don't look like me, I can handle that, so I'm good with it. But uh, so anyway, there you go. Didn't mean to get off on a rampage, but anyway. All right, cool. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.